I see strangers in our land. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. What am I doing here? Only once before have we ventured into the super low budget world of British filmmaker Michael J. Murphy. Exactly. Blood and tits. A few scares, a few thrills. <laughs> Nothing too demanding. But we're back there, courtesy of one of our Patreon supporters, to review Avalon. With pleasure. We open with the beauty pageant of the apocalypse. Miss Pestilence. A plague sweeps throughout the land. Miss Starvation. Famine strikes as you commanded. Miss War. Kingdom fights kingdom. And Miss Buckinghamshire. Barbarians invade and plunder. These doomsaying women report back to evil sorceress Morgana. Soon Avalon will rule the world. Back in the real world, it's just another day in the West Country. We must taste the blood of that virgin child. I'm from Wiltshire. This is all very normal. Aradia, Aradia, Aradia. Fortunately, a hero is passing with his horse. This is Owen, who looks like Michael Palin grew a mullet and joined a gym. He saves the girl. <laughs> and a captured thief. Yeah. I hate druids. And that's all the character building you'll be getting. Together, they escape. We should try and find some horses. I had one a minute ago, but we only hired it for the day. Their flight takes them in the direction they were going anyway. There is nothing but sea. To the fabled island of Avalon. Avalon? But as every D&D &D player knows, a quest needs more than a hero, a maiden, and a thief. I am Merlin, the magician. Owen is going to Avalon to raise King Arthur, Clotilde to find her lost love, Edwin, and thief Kiran is along for the ride. So, can Merlin help them? We shall swim to the island. Not noticeably, which is odd because he's got enough magic to restore his own youth for the swim. <laughs> And now, my little Lord Caesar, you might like to tell me who you really are. But when they arrive... First I must leave you for a little while. Leaving Owen in charge. We shall walk. That way. Why? While Owen and Clotilde are brewing some forbidden romantic tension... Kieran is saved by the Elephant Man. If I help you, you must help me. With a strange request. I am crushed by Morgana. Kill my reflection. Kieran is unable to help, cause you can't kill a reflection. Later, he relates this adventure to his friends. It's all slimy like a sewer which is a thing we definitely have back now. But Morgana has detected their approach and... One of the problems with this film is that the genre demands fights and fight scenes on zero budget with video editing are excruciating. Clotilde is captured and Owen and Kieran plan to rescue her by entering a tournament which has kind of a game show feel. On the table of destiny, who will be chosen? Who will fight you? Who will be chosen next? That night, Morgana tries to seduce Owen by teaching him the difference between boys and girls. Look, I do not have a weapon like yours. Meanwhile, Merlin visits the Lady of the Lake. I must leave now, my lady. My companions could be in mortal danger. You dirty old man. But this is apparently the other way you go about getting the sword Excalibur.
which Merlin now uses in the tournament. Watch and learn, boy. I appear to have one. You did have a tiny advantage. Owen is pleased to see him. If only Merlin were here. We can't find magic. Begs the question, what are you doing here and why didn't Merlin just do this on his own? But what the hell? They go to their rooms because Morgana is nice enough to accommodate the people who are trying to thwart her evil plans. And... For the next five minutes, the film tries for the Dark Corners Slave Girls from Beyond Infinity Award for sex scenes that have no bearing on the plot, as Morgana beds Owen, Kieran, the only men I've ever loved, and even Merlin, but <laughs> it was all a trick. Morgana has. Actually, I don't know what her plan was. You thought you slept with me, but you didn't. Now you'll all go, right? Very clever. Merlin takes the news badly. Which <laughs> May have just lost the moral high ground there. Oh, the weakness of men. Yeah, weakness. Morgana transforms her women into warriors. But Owen has a plan. Men run! Fortunately, their cowardly flight takes them to the creature that Kieran met earlier. I am Edwin. Clotilde's lost love. He knows where she's being held, and having rescued her, they return to the question of how to kill Edwin's reflection. <laughs> A man is a reflection of himself. Probably. And if not, then, uh, dinner. The riddle is solved by Owen's courage. Courage or stabbing the man whose girlfriend you fancy. Now they must face the final challenge, a dragon. I think. Leave it. There is no danger. How satisfying. But to resurrect Arthur, Owen must make the ultimate sacrifice. Which I thought was a pretty unexpected ending, until they all swim back to the mainland where... The blast blew me clear! I don't have any useful conclusion here. It's so cheap and so amateur and so stupid. What do you say? Oh, shut up! One more thing. Abigail Blackmore, who played Clotilde, has recently directed portmanteau horror Tales from the Lodge, which is on Amazon, so we're going to review it for Dark Corners streaming. Does this not excite you? You never know where the industry will take you. Kill me now and be done with it. Thanks for watching. To see more sword and sorcery reviews, click here. What other bad movie bit players ended up elsewhere in the industry? Let us know in the comments below. Now, my friends, this is the end of our adventure. <laughs>